Good morning, everybody. It's bright and early on a Sunday, and I am heading off to Port de Vembe's, I think that's the way you pronounce it, flea market in the left bank of Paris. And this flea market is year round Saturdays and Sundays. It's much smaller and less famous than Klingen Court, which is the gigantic flea market that everybody wants to go to. Um, but they also have more reasonable pricing there. So I probably will go to Klingen Court mostly just to look around and be in the atmosphere because they're actually open Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Day. But today I'm looking for good deals. So let's head off. I'm going to hit, I think I have to take two metros to get there. And then it's just a short walk to some really good treasure. Of like this it's early morning and there's nobody on the streets it's just quiet and luckily for me the metro station is not even a block away look at those fat little pigeons they're just bathing in the water that's so funny There were definitely a lot of really cool items at this particular flea market. Like I have a penchant for tins and I absolutely fell in love with that green one, but I think I was intimidated by the pricing at this flea market. So I don't even know if I asked how much it was, but that one was so cool. Port Van Vives was really out of my price range, but it was super early in the morning still. So I headed off and look what I found. This amazing flea market where pricing was all over the place, which is fine with me because eventually you find something that you really love and that is in your price range. From all the shopping I've done, I've really noticed that there are a lot of African artifacts, some really cool ones, but they don't fall under the very French rule I'm trying to stick to, so I haven't picked any up. So I'm back at my apartment and I went to the Port Van Vies flea market. It was good, but I thought everything was really pricey there. I did find a couple of little things. Um, and then I went to another one, well, I thought I did, that was um, just right over the river for me. Um, but I thought I was supposed to walk 
for nine minutes and when I got out of the metro I walked right into an antique flea market which was like really surprising so now I'm wondering if there was a second one a, like a big neighborhood garage sale because this also seemed to be like a lot of vintage resellers but I did find some good things there so I was really happy with my purchases um, but I came back to charge my phone. I didn't get a lot of footage because I had gotten down to 10%. For some reason, my phone is not charging. And so uh, when I woke up this morning, I only had 20% battery. So I'm going to go back and see if I could find the one garage sale that I was looking for because it's supposed to be non-professional, supposed to be more of a neighborhood thing, and I just want to check it out. And I'm totally hungry, so it's almost th a two o'clock, so I'm going to have Moroccan food. So uh, France has some pretty deep ties to Morocco. Um, I, think, I think they occupied Morocco. Yeah, I think they did. So anyways, I'm going to head to a Moroccan restaurant that gets really high reviews that is very close to where that garage sale is, is at. So wish me luck. Very much like a garage sale at home. This was several blocks of like people selling their used items. And honestly, it was actually worth going to because I did walk away with some items that I was really happy with. And I just wanted to experience what an actual vid grenier was, which I think translates to clear out your attic. So it was a lot of fun. The people were super friendly. And like I said, I walked away with some items. Then it was off to have some Moroccan food and actually stop into the mosque that was right across the street. I act, it was a mosque, but it also had a museum with these beautiful Moroccan gardens. This is such a lovely little park. A little oasis in the middle of the city. And there's lots of people here enjoying the day, which is warm, but the, you know, it's been cloudy, but now it's clearing up, so it's super nice. My Moroccan meal was absolutely delicious too. So good. I had couscous with chicken and vegetables. In Paris, you really don't have to be doing anything special to really feel like you're seeing and doing so much because everywhere you look, it's a feast for the eyes. Really, in Paris, all you have to do is just be.
so this was such a fun day heading out to those two flea markets. I did pick up some goods there, but I was happy to go back and check out that neighborhood garage sale. It's gonna be a good day. I decided I wanted to have kind of a low-key laid-back day so I headed to the cemetery that's very famous Jim Morrison from the Doors is buried there Chopin is buried there as well as uh, several other really famous people so I headed in that direction honestly at the end of the day I had done quite a bit of sightseeing though reminds me of the New Orleans Cemetery even though I've never been there <laughs> I've seen it in movies so that's what it reminds me of oh that is creepy that is definitely creepy found Jim Morrison's grave. I'm gonna go take a look at it after these people leave. It's so popular, they have a fence around it. I'm heading to see Chopin's grave now. Or is it Chopin? Anyways, the great composer. I'm standing in line 
for what's considered to be the best sandwich in Paris, possibly the world. I chose a sandwich for my meal this day and it was really good, but wow, everywhere you turn in Paris, there is just food staring you in the face. Yum and delicious. Bonjour mon ami from Paris. I am Abigail and I own a vintage and antique store called Abigail's Artful Abode in Polesville, Washington. I also sell on all the major platforms. I have an Instagram account. So if you don't follow me there, you should because I post every single day and every week I do a haul. So we're going to do something a little bit different this time. So I'm going to go ahead and put pricing up above. And if you are interested in the item, just fill out one of the contact sheets down below. Just click the link tree in the description and send me all of your information and um, make arrangements to pay. And then I will mark that item sold for you and if you are a subscriber, make sure you let me know that you are. I will also give you 10% off that item. And if I happen to get two emails, it's going to be the first person that emailed me. So I hope that you find something that you love and that I can bring back for you. And well, let's get going so I can show you what you could possibly buy. This next one is big but I couldn't say no to it. I thought it was the coolest thing I have seen. And it is this needlepoint deer. Is that just not the coolest, kitschiest thing? It is so cool. And, and deer are really hot right now and kind of that retro kitschy look. And so I thought he was so cool. Look at that. And he is large. And so please don't ask for measurements because I don't have a measuring tape here. And so I can't give you measurements on things. All I know is, look, he's just really tall and kind of skinny, but he is amazing. And yes, he's big, but that's okay. He's still going to fit in my suitcase. The other thing I want to concentrate on when I'm here, um, mostly because again, they're small, um, are uh, trinket boxes. So I paid up for this, but I could not say no to him. But look at this cloisonne trinket box in the shape of a little bird. He is so stunning. And he's actually on a bit on the bigger side for these type of boxes. He's blue on the inside and he's just gorgeous. I mean, wouldn't you love to see that on your vanity? So pretty. And then this one is made of porcelain and I just totally fell in love with it. And I paid up for this one too. But look at that. That is so beautiful. This one is much older. I'm gonna say early, early 1900s. I don't know. Maybe that design could also be like 1920s up to the 1940s maybe. But it is so beautiful. It's porcelain and it's marked on the inside. Oh just gorgeous if i could find 20 more like this i would be in heaven this one is just sweet it also has a porcelain top and then the inside is just gold very adorable 
This one is interesting and I almost turned it down, but then I thought it was unusual enough that I wanted to grab it because it has a face. And at first it reminded me of a luchador, which is a Mexican um, wrestler. But then I realized it's probably Chinese. So it's a Chinese cloisonne. And that's a, um, and that's just a mask, an Asian mask, right? So very interesting. This next piece, for you that love Art Deco design, you're gonna love this. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. It is an Art Deco pocket mirror with two mirrors on the inside and this like stainless steel. Oh, that design is awesome. So very pretty. For those of you that love romantic cottage core Victorian items, you're gonna love this one. This was an old powder case still has powder in it with a little mirror, right? And it's got the faux tortoise shell case, but just the flowers. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. And then I have this, I think, Victorian pin. And it's just a painting of this lady. And it's just this brass pin. Very cute. And I love this. It's a little bottle and it still has all the advertising on it and it's stamped on the bottom and it's not very big. Like there's my hand, but I absolutely love it. So cool. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you get out to do some thrifting, I hope the thrifting gods are with you and you find some fabulous stuff and otherwise I will see you in part three Paris next week.